This morning, according to the USDA, nearly 60% of all U.S. citrus is grown in Florida. The bad news, many of those orange and grapefruit groves were devastated by Hurricane Ian last month. And while the Sunshine State pushes forward with recovery efforts, farming experts say citrus and other agriculture industries in Florida won't be as lucky. More bad news for consumers. Already steep grocery prices could continue rising. This is a gut punch. There's no doubt about it. A new report from the University of Florida projects the catastrophic storm damage from Hurricane Ian could cost upwards of $1.56 billion worth of losses for the citrus, vegetable, and cattle industries in the Sunshine State. This is the kind of event that will push growers out. The blow dealt to farmers resulting in fewer salvageable crops and delays in production, meaning fewer products like fresh oranges, melons, grapefruits, and juices are expected to wind up on store shelves nationwide, driving up costs. At least 40% of our crop is on the ground and un unusable and unmarketable. Um, we're looking at maybe a 10% tree loss. Hurricane Ian made landfall last month on Florida's southwest coast as a Category 4 storm. The storm then made its way through the center of the state, damaging roughly 5 million acres of farm and grazing land. It takes five years for a freshly planted tree to produce enough quality fruit that you can measure it and count it. And farmers were already trying to dig their way out from last year's disastrous harvest, where frost and disease ravaged many crops. Meanwhile, some of the citrus trees still standing could die in the coming months. Ian's intense rainfall dumped between 12 and 20 inches in many areas, oversaturating the ground and causing tree roots to slowly rot. Sean Langell, Fox News.